Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you some tips how to improve performance uh, of Hogwarts Legacy on PC, uh, fixing shutter, lag, and low frame rates issues. Uh, the things work for me, that's why I'm sharing. There are different things, some might work for you, some not. Keep in mind, do it at your own risk, I take no responsibility if something happens. Uh, so if you really don't know at all what you're doing, well, just don't do it. So basically I was playing with the lowest graphic settings all the 60 hours because they're just lagging and shuttering me like crazy. Some things of course work and solve the issue. Now I'm playing everything on Ultra. Uh, I'm, I'm playing on the 3070 Ti on a laptop and I'm playing uh, the highest uh, uh, graphic setting, everything on Ultra, ray tracing, everything hi the highest and I get 40 frames per second uh, on average. Again, of course I can improve it. Uh, I'm also using DLSS uh, on performance. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you things that I've done and some of the things might work, some don't. Uh, so let's start. Uh, for the next one, I, I'm going to give credit to Captain Crunch uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can check on my channel. Uh, this actually helped uh, uh, many players, so it might help you as well. All right, let's begin. Go to your start menu and start writing exploit and click exploit protection. After that, go to program settings tab and click add program to customize and choose choose exact file path. Next, choose the .exe file I'm playing on Steam. This is the folder where it's located for me. Maybe for you, it's going to be uh, in a different folder. After that, click Open. Now then scroll down until you see Control Flow Guard CFG. Make sure Override System Settings is checked and the one below it is set to Off. After that, click the, click the Apply button and you need to restart your computer. Check if it works for you. If not, let's check out some other options. So again, restart the, your computer, start the game, and check it out. Next, click the start button, type gra or graphics. You can see graphic setting, click graphic settings. Next, click change default graphic settings. Make sure auto accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Make sure to restart your computer so it will take effect and try again to see if the performance improved. All right, next one, write task manager, task, and run as admin, right click, run as admin. You need to write, um, run this as administrator as you can see on the right in order to get privileges so you can set the priority of the game. Make sure the game is running, uh, find in the process tab uh, where the game is, right click, set priority and set it to high. You can always change it back. Again, if you have NVIDIA graphic uh, card installed, right control or NVIDIA, you're gonna see NVIDIA control panel, click it. There go to program settings tab, Select the program, so select August Legacy. Then in power management mode, choose prefer maximum performance or highest, whatever it says there. You can also choose for texture filtering quality, high performance. Now for some tips, uh, make sure uh, that uh, when you are playing, if you are recording, by the way, for example, with OBS, it can affect performance quite significantly at times. So, Make sure to check it out if you're recording, even with NVIDIA uh, on recording, I saw some degree of uh, degraded performance. Of course, uh, make sure that other apps, close other apps that use resources in order to not affect the game. Some even suggest postponing the antivirus when, uh, uh, when you are playing. I don't do that, but some say that it might help a bit. All right, regarding the settings. Okay, this is for NVIDIA users and via DLSS. You can turn it, by the way, off and see if it works for you. Choose none. Some say it didn't improve performance. Keep in mind, if you're playing at high resolution, you need it because it will improve performance, of course, quite significantly. Uh, in terms of uh, upscale mode, you can try performance or ultra or balance. Try between them to see if, uh, if it works for you. Of course, if you want the highest performance, choose ultra. Uh, uh, uncapped frame rate. Uh, by the way, if you lower the field of view, it should improve performance from what I know, but again, I didn't touch it. You see, I'm driving, uh, using 3070 Ti. Uh, here, uh, uh, ray tracing, turn it off, it will improve performance quite significantly, of course, as expected. So if you, do, if you don't mind, you can turn it off or just play around with certain things. I recommend uh, turning off shadow first. Uh, an ambient inclusion, make sure your reflection is on because this is the most beautiful thing in my opinion, but you can play with it if you already. And of course you can reduce the ray tracing quality uh, that will of course improve performance as well. Uh, other than that, with all the things here, by the way, uh, some of them make the game uh, look more beautiful. I personally don't, wouldn't mind reduce the sky quality, foliage I can reduce, uh, shadow quality I can reduce, 
Uh, texture quality, I actually like it high. Distance quality, I, you can put on high and see how it works for you as well. Effects quality, you can reduce, but overall you can play with it. And of course, reducing the overall uh, preset to see if, if you get the frameworks that you want. And that's about it. A few aggregations of some things. Hopefully, one of them will work for you. Well, it worked for me, so uh, good luck. See you on the next one. Give a like also if you find this one useful. Cheers.